What's up guys, my name's John. Welcome back to my channel. What's up team, so good to see you as always. And if you are new to the Lean Machines family, you are very welcome over here. And make sure you go up, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to keep up to date with us. Today, we are talking about five things only gym goers know. Number one, the addiction. And we are not talking about drugs, we're talking about results. Once you get past that first tough stage of four or five weeks, you start seeing some really good results. You start to get a little bit addicted to the gym. Everything you do seems to be around the gym. Oh, just going shopping, I carry the bags. And you start doing everything gym related. And this is great, we all want you to be fit, but remember it's all about balance. Another thing that you're inevitably gonna face along your road to muscular righteousness is guilt. Guilt for missing sessions, guilt for eating cake, and guilt for spending time with your friends and family. Remember, they run alongside each other. Work hard in the gym, but make sure you have a life alongside it. Yes, if you haven't been to the gym for a month, you should feel guilty. Get your backside back in there and grind, but live your life alongside it. Key word to this is balance. Next up is obsession. And this is something that relates quite closely to social media as well, when everyone puts up the perfect meal plate. I've done it, I'm sure lots of you have done it, but it's something that we kind of, we don't want to spend too long in this position. And this is being obsessive. Being obsessive with eating healthy, being obsessive with just everything fitness related, especially with food, because that can lead to something called orthorexia, which is an obsession with eating healthy, which by default is an obsession, so it's not healthy. So remember, it's important to eat healthy, but not if it has a negative impact in your life. What we always like to say is consistency is key. So if you can be consistent with eating good food, sometimes you have snacks here and there and things that aren't typically healthy, but it's balanced out. It's better to do that than to basically crucify yourself to eating the perfect food all the time and then going completely off the bandwagon and just being reckless. Next up, get ready for the competition. First of all, you're gonna walk in and you're gonna be competitive with yourself. You're gonna look at yourself and go, I can beat you. Every single time I go and gym, I'm gonna do a new way. Next, it's gonna be your friends. Doesn't matter whether it's who can get changed the fastest. Who can get in the shower and out the fastest? Who can lift the most weight? You're gonna get competitive with them. Then, it's gonna be complete strangers in the gym. Well, he's lifting that way. I need to lift that way. I need to lift a little bit more. Competition will rule your life when you first get in the gym. Don't worry, it's like a phase. It's like puberty. It will stop eventually. You know what my favorite is? It sucks. <laughs> my favorite is, is if someone's doing a completely different body part, they might be training legs and they'll see you doing a handstand or something like that. Yeah. I can do it better than that. And you'll see them on the other side of the gym changing their whole workout just yes. to go, look what I can do, yeah. I'm over I here. Do handstand. Look how big my shaft is. <laughs> anyway, just you've got to go through it. You'll be fine. And finally, fitness can be expensive. Whether you're trying to buy the latest apparel that everyone's wearing on Instagram, or you're trying to buy the most recent supplement which does absolutely fuck all, <laughs> or the <laughs> latest supplement which does absolutely fuck all, or you're just spending your money on gym membership. Gym membership, you need, unless you're training at home, that's, that's a given. But often the supplements and all the other stuff, we are often wasting our money and it's kind of, again, social media, like, oh, I want that, or maybe this is my secret pill. I just tell you now, on a whole different video, there is no secret pill. None. So anyone that says you're gonna get Relina faster doing this, you're gonna do it in a week, take this pill, it's rubbish. So what we wanna know, so what we wanna know is is there anything that nobody told you before you had it? So what we wanna know is if so we wanna know is there anything nothing bollock in hell? So what we wanna know is is there any, oh god. The comments below will have a good old laugh of whatever we no. <laughs> Let me just check myself. So what we want to know, is there anything nobody told you before you started the gym? Yes, I think I'm there. I think I'm at it. I'm not going to put all my eggs in the basket yet. If there is, put a comment below. Let us all read them and laugh together because that is the best medicine in life. If you love the video, give it a massive thumbs up. If you've not hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you hit that. I'm going to go. John's going to go because otherwise I'm going to mess my words up again. See you later, guys. Yeah! <laughs> Boom.